Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Each breath. And as for the breath you watch just now, you can forget about that and focus on the breath you're going to watch on at the very mo this very moment. You're not gathering anything up. You're trying to keep the mind in the present moment as consistently as you can. So you can see what you're doing. And particularly, you want to catch the mind as it decides to go off someplace else. Because the mind is like a committee. Not everyone in the committee is decided that they're going to be happy meditating. So they wait for their chance. As soon as your mindfulness lapses a little bit, they're going to go running out to wherever. And you've got to be ready to catch them. They say, we really do want to accomplish something here with the meditation. We want to get the mind to be able to settle down and stay with one thing. Because mindfulness and alertness are two qualities that are useful in all kinds of activities. Whatever work you do, you've got to be mindful to keep in mind how to do it well, what you want to do, how to do it well. And you have to be alert to make sure you're actually doing it in line with what you should be doing. Without these two qualities, your, your various tasks as you go throughout the day don't get well done. And sometimes you forget about them. And you start something and then you forget. You start something and you're, you're off someplace else. Which means that you can't trust your own mind. You make up your mind to do something that you know is going to be good, and then it's off someplace else. So you've got to get this committee under control and keep it focused on what you need to do. And working with the breath is a good way of developing these qualities of mindfulness and alertness. It's like exercising a muscle. If you don't use it, it begins to atrophy. But if you exercise it, then the strength you gain from the exercise is useful not only in the gym, but also wherever you go throughout the day. So for the sake of accomplishing things in life, you need to develop these qualities, mindfulness, alertness, the ability to stay focused, and not get easily distracted. That way you learn you can trust the mind a lot more, and it becomes more and more your friend. Otherwise, if it turns traitor on you, then who can you rely on? If your very own mind can't stick with what you know is right, what you know is going to be good for you, then how can you trust anybody else to work for what is right and good for you? So the mind has to be trained. All the members of the committee have to be brought on board to remind them that this is what you really want. You want to strengthen the mind. You want a mind that you can use, a mind that you can trust. And this is how you make it more and more trustworthy.